The number of childminders in Scotland has fallen by nearly a third over the past decade, leaving families desperately searching for childcare. Excessive paperwork is forcing many out of the profession, which has been labelled a tragedy by the Scottish Childminding Association. Kirsten Tate has the details. Last year, Jennifer Morpeth quit her job to do childminding full-time after struggling to find care for her own children. But she is one of the exceptions. Across the country, the amount of people becoming childminders has declined year on year. It's forced thousands of parents like Jennifer to take matters into their own hands. I knew childcare was a, a problem, um, but I didn't realise to what extent. Uh, I was told to put name down on a waiting list and I did that a year in advance and then as time was getting on further on and on I was really nervous. yeah this is not actually going to happen what am I going to do around the country it's similar pictures combined Glasgow and Edinburgh have seen a decline of almost one quarter of their childminders over the past eight years as well as Dundee dropping by around a third but the decrease is even more evident in more rural areas. In Angus and Clackmannanshire, the number of childminders has fallen by over a third, as well as a further 30% drop in the Highlands. Lastly, in Orkney and Shetland, they've lost around half of their childminders. Katie Taylor is pregnant and expecting her baby boy in just a few weeks. She's already preparing to return to work next April, but even at this early stage, all her local childminders are fully booked. It's quite stressful to worry about what am I going to do, how am I going to manage, should I go back to work, should I stay off, would it be better for my husband to give up work. In August last year, the government agreed to fund 1,140 hours of childcare per year to all three and four-year-olds and eligible two-year-olds. A recent report shows childminders not offering this service are losing out on business. A number of local authorities have unfortunately prioritised their own nursery provision ahead of childminders. So childminders have in many cases just been getting fragments of hours just before school or after school. And the number of hours they're actually not they're getting from their local authority are not always sustainable for the business. Childminders in Scotland are able to look after six children at one given time. In Angus, where there's been one of the largest declines, Christine Brown is having to turn down families week on week. As a childminder looking after children, you feel, you feel bad um, turning these parents away. Before I had my son, I felt like it was a lot more manageable. I feel like when you have a family, it's a lot more difficult, um, especially with the paperwork. The lack of childminders are forcing parents to make tough decisions over childcare. Giving up their jobs is one option, but it's a lot to consider given the current cost of living crisis. Kirsten Tate, STV News.